breakdown of my AmCast application. I just can't believe that I'm doing one now. Say why it was most meaningful. Tell a story of something that made you emotional, something that made you realize your why medicine in this experience. I, I just seen that I was screen recording and it literally just didn't even, it stopped screen recording. But it, correction, it never started, so we're gonna try that again. Hey y'all, um, if you're new, my name is Mame and I'm a fifth year at Northeastern finishing up my senior year courses. Uh, if you're returning, what's up, what's good, welcome back. Today I'm going to be going through a full breakdown of my AMCAS application, which I used to watch these all the time and I just, I just can't believe that I'm doing one now. Before I was like, I don't even know if I would do that because like, you're my business. Don't do that. But I think that it's really important. It really helped me to see how other people like worded their activities and um, just everything that goes into AMCAS. So this is my AMCAS report for the 2021 entering class. Gang, gang. Note all of the things that you'll need to have beforehand. And another note is the submission date. It's submitted on May 31st, 2020 at 4.20 p.m. And so submitting early is so important and mine was processed um, on June 24th. School started receiving our primary app on July 10th this year. The next page shows more information so you can pause and see what you're gonna have to talk to your parents or guardians about um, to get this information early so that when it's time you can just put it in. And then we get into my grades. I use AP credit you put that on your application and as you can see here like you put it as advanced placement they also have a something for IB if you did IB then you put your school information here so like my high school and then my college education so if you transferred you'll have to put that as well my science and math GPA was a 3.88 my my all other GPA was a 3.89 and my um, total GPA was a 3.89 and then here we have my MCAT score and I got a 507 so this is my breakdown I got um, in the 70th percentile I took that score I said bet let's apply because my practice scores as you probably saw in my MCAT video my practice scores were giving me ghetto they were giving me try again it did pretty well in chem phys which was weird for me I got a 124 in cars 127 in bio biochem and 128 in psych social now we get into the activities which is a major major part of the amcas application i can't stress this enough start these early you start writing the these you start to realize that like you want to say everything meaningful about the experience everything that you've done in the experience what you've learned and how you can apply that to being the best physician that you possibly can be um, and the word count or character count is not a lot for that but after doing it for some time and editing and editing and editing um, I was able to get them down for this first one um, I put honors, awards, and recognitions from Northeastern University. Um, so I am part a member of the Huntington 100, which if you don't go to Northeastern, it means nothing. I am part of the honors program at Northeastern, and I've been on the dean's list for every semester. Just put anything that um, shows that you've worked hard um, and anything that you're proud about, honestly, because you want to look back at your application and say, that this is the best application and best version of me that I could show to these schools. Um, so the next thing was my research was one of my co-ops. My PI just assigned me tasks and I did them. So it was hard to make it like a story. So I didn't really do that here. But I talk about how I expressed my interest in the theory of mindset and I was able to like do a literature review 
and connect to that with also my desire to help low-income community. I created a platform called Diversifying Medicine, which um, when I did this had over 200 pre-med students, medical students, residents, doctors across the country, and now it has almost 400. Any of those things that you do that you think don't mean much you can still put on the application because i was asked about diversifying medicine a lot like what we've done so far what we plan to do because it's something that's really unique so anything even if it doesn't have to do with medicine mine just happened to have to do with medicine you can put it on there i and i also put my youtube channel on here and they've asked about it one of the schools i was accepted to one of my interviewers said that he was gonna look me up on youtube afterwards and i guess he liked what he saw i don't know they want to know like how you spent your time this is a description that i really liked so i'll read it quickly the mission of this organization is to mitigate the negative impact that homelessness can have on child development. As a volunteer, I helped to ensure that the children were receiving the attention that they needed while enforcing child safety in the classroom. I interacted with the children in the various segments of the classroom, which included dramatic play, arts and crafts, manipulative toys, and literacy. My most memorable moments with the children, so just emphasizing like what you liked most about the activity, my most memorable moments with the children involved running around with them outside. The greatest reward was seeing them escape from their initial hesitation as we engaged in play together as I became a sanctuary for them in their ever-changing world. The next one was one of my research projects um, in the African Studies Department at Northeastern, but just looking at healthcare for children in Ghana and how it's improved um, over the years, so just the analysis of this. And then I ended by saying, the encouraging findings in this project strengthened my desire to impact healthcare for children in Ghana. So the next thing you'll see is one of my most meaningfuls, which was my first co-op. Um, I miss those people so much, but it was my first co-op at Mass Ioneer in the pediatrics department. In the most meaningful part, it's just that. Say why it was most meaningful. Tell a story of something that made you emotional, something that made you realize your why medicine in this experience. Um, so in this description, this is where I told a story. So you can see what I mean by that in um, pausing and reading this. Next thing is the Global Public Health Brigade. This is one of those tricky ones. I went to Nicaragua with a group of students and we built um, latrines for the people there, like in one of the communities, and then we helped to dig um, water filtration um, lines. In talking about this, I made sure to not say like, oh, I went there and changed their lives. Like what I did for them was very minimal, but what they did for me was huge because they taught me about how people in Nicaragua specifically access healthcare. It was just one amazing part of my journey so make sure to avoid words like we provided um, care for them make sure to say more of like we offered care um, so your wording there is really important so the next thing um, was being a tutor I really like this description as well because I talked about my experience with three girls that I was tutoring rather than saying i helps people with this and that like yes that's what a tutor does but just talking about how our relationship evolved how um, i was able to change their experience in the class and then um, help to change other students experiences in the class and the next one was another research project that i did with the african studies department again i want to work in ghana work with the healthcare system in ghana to help change it and um, help Ghanaians get better access to care. So just relating it back to my culture, my, um, my personal desire to want to go into medicine. The next thing is being an EMT. This is the story of um, one of my most meaningful experiences as an EMT where I was taking a patient to hospice care and just um, experiencing the last moments of life with her, um, knowing like what to do or learning what to do in those moments and also being there for the family 
in that time. Next thing is the Northeastern African Student Organization, which has been my pride and joy since sophomore year. Um, so I served as a secretary, then event coordinator, then external vice president, and then um, I'm now serving as president. So I talked about some of the things that we do. Um, and then in my most meaningful remarks, I talked about the story of putting together one of our major events one of the years um, to just show like all my leadership qualities without saying this show that I'm a leader that I know how to delegate tasks and all these things but just showing what I did specifically in the event um, and I made it clear so that like you can picture um, the process of putting on the event and then fulfilling it. Don't be afraid that you're not writing enough or that you didn't share enough about an experience because um, depending on how you talk about it, if you talked about how much you loved it, how much it's changed you, if you make it the most meaningful, then they're more, more likely to ask you about it. And the next thing um, was community service with Peace Through Play. Peace Through Play is not like a nationally recognized organization. It's very specific to my school. So I wanted to make sure I wasn't leaving them out of what it was, but also talking about how it molded me and how it can help me as a future physician. Next thing um, was Project Goodwill Africa, which is a nonprofit organization that my family created in 2009, which is actually crazy. It's crazy that I really put 2019 on this MCAS application when it was 2009. Like, I saw this only when I was redacting this form and I was like, you know, in my personal statement, I said 2009. So which is it? Which one is it? Like, that's actually kind of crazy. Like, I'm actually quite embarrassed. When they would ask me, like, tell me about yourself, this would always come up. If I mentioned nothing else in my activities, I'll talk about this because it just showed how um, my family wanting to be um, an advocate for people, an advocate for youth in Ghana made me um, into an advocate and want to learn how to be an advocate in the realm of healthcare um, for people in Ghana and people like across the globe. And the last thing is my hobbies. I think I had like a lot of hobbies so I just threw them all in this one I think that's fine to do um they'll pick out which ones interest them the most so some people ask me about playing the flute because they have ties to music and um composition and like they probably played an instrument in the past or some people ask me about dance because they used to be a dancer or they have children that are dancers that is all for this video. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch y'all. Bye.